Yeah, hello. Uh, I bought the sweeper from China uh, end of last year. That's when I received it. I bought it directly from them and no middlemen and brought it to Canada. Well, this past weekend was the first time I had a chance to actually use it. And I just wanted to make up a video because I would like to have seen something before I bought the machine because their pictures it can mean a thousand words. Anyways, um, machine overall is not that bad. Uh, problem was when I received it, there was a uh, little damage on the seat, and I notified them, and they just said, "Well, next time they'd be more careful." Well, next time doesn't help me, so it didn't give me a very good impression. Uh, and also there's a piece of rubber at the bottom after three hours it broke and so I had to get some duct tape fix it up because whenever I drove or turned uh, the dirt would come out and the piece I had to fix was in there <clears throat> anyways machine overall is not that badly built uh, this is the container where you put where the dirt goes in didn't use it much but the rubber there already is breaking That's a good chamber for the dirt to go in I said quality is not very good that's what happens after about 10 times of opening and closing it it's definitely not a machine made to last uh, I'll show you the electronics inside it's a little dirty now because well, I was using the machine on the weekend overall it looks like it's nicely built it has four batteries I needed it each day for about four hours, I guess. It, the charge was more than sufficient. So it, it's not a badly built machine, but the quality is not there. I don't know if it can be seen on the, you can see the marks on there. It's like they painted it and then somebody went with their leg over it. Uh, it's a lot of plastic on it. This is all plastic. Nothing really strong built. Uh, transporting it was a, a problem. You need a very shallow sloped ramp to go up uh, to transport anywhere. And there also is no, well, emergency brake or anything. So transporting it, actually right now, it really doesn't take much to push it down. Uh, it could go down on a steeper hill on its own. Uh, wasn't a great thing not having an emergency brake or parking brake or anything on it. And the brake itself is no hell either. Because when I go to unload it, I have to go down the slope and have to press the brake pedal really hard down. Uh, steering is very simple to use. The, it has forwards, backwards. Uh, it has a handle for sweeping. And this is for vibrating, I guess, to clean the filter out. On and off switch. The amount of battery that's still left. Um, I have what six hours on it uh, you can't see it but six hours are on it now and well could take it into account six hours use and already a piece of rubber broken the seat damaged from the beginning I did get extra parts for it so I can replace the stuff 
Um, if you're using this machine once in a while, uh, I have to say it's pretty good. Uh, it did an excellent job sweeping up. We picked up way more dust and dirt on the parking lots than I, I thought I would have. Um, but I, I think if you're going to use it regular basis, every you know, every day of the week uh, for half the year, or whatever, a machine probably won't last won't last that long. Um, but for somebody who needs it for once in a while, I'd say it's pretty good. The price was definitely a lot cheaper than if I would have bought it in Canada. Uh, can't say it's a horrible machine but I can't say either it's top of the line but anyways I'm making this video so people can see it if they there's we go on uh, Alibaba and look around you find lots of different companies selling roughly the same machine uh, maybe a different color slightly different design but I have a feeling it's probably the same supplier or manufacturer um, I, I guess it's worth its money summarized.